I'm Angel Collinson, and you're watching Behind the Line, Juneau, Alaska. Hey, Angel. Whew. Have fun. Thanks. When in doubt, just, you know, if it's really stop. Yeah. Yeah, girl. Oh, uh, not very great. It was just like I did like bad slough management. So as I was like coming through the choke, all my slough was coming at me. So I just pointed the whole face. That would be sick. <laughs> all the, except for I didn't really like keep it together. I was like, woo. Everybody else was like, oh, dude, you slayed that run. And I was like, did you see my arms? Because they were like this. But I think that's part of it. It's part of being able to test your abilities and test your comfort zone. And sometimes you're not always going to be in 100% control. It's just about being in control ma the majority of the time. Well, I'll commend Angel because she's with three veterans of being in Alaska and big mountain skiing. She's young, she's a female, and she just handles herself so well. You can basically put her anywhere, I'd say, and she'll make it down. More often than not, she'll get down really fast. She doesn't get in over her head, she makes good decisions, and she charges. I just hope to ski faster and more aggressive than I did last year, because I know I got it in the tank. Lining a couple up in the barrel and <laughs> fire them out. There is another line it, skiers left of where I went, I and it's it. mellow. Yeah. It's like the mellowest way. Well, it's kind of funny because you watch them ski a line and you're like, oh yeah, that doesn't look that bad. And then you're like, oh yeah, there was a line right next to that like that you could totally ski, it's super easy. And so you get dropped off with them right next to their line and you're looking down and you're like, whoa, that does not look like the line I was looking at in my binoculars at all. Just a matter of like overcoming in your mind how difficult you think it's gonna be and just relying on all the training you've done and then trust that and not overthink it. Seriously, that shot over there, like I was like, whoa, she's really taking that spine deep. Like, because you could have cut over like yeah. super safe and been across it really quickly, but yeah. you waited and then got on it and then took it a ways. And I was like, oh my gosh, she could hit the big air. And then you like aired over, landed on the spine, and it was like a double line. Like, I've never seen you hit a, as good an air as that. Well, thanks. That's sick. I'm like, got in my mind what she wants to do for her line. And then she starts skiing down. I'm like, oh, she's kind of off of her line a little bit. She's going into the cliff a little bit more in the meat. But then she just pulls out this move, slashes a turn, gaps to a spine, airs off the spine, and stomps the cliff, riding out the bottom, slough chasing her. Oh yeah. my god, shot of the day that right was, there. Oh. Holy nar. Transfer gap. What the fuck? <laughs> How did she stay on her feet? Oh my that god. That was awesome. That was amazing. Wow. I think a lot of athletes have this experience where their gnarliest lines don't always seem that gnarly. They actually seem easy because things are flowing just right. And you finally like understand Alaska and you understand the feel and you understand the whole terrain and the big picture and it all just like comes together and you're like, oh yeah, got that one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Wow! That was, that was insane. So that was shot of the day. Maybe the sickest thing I've ever seen you ski, Angel.